All right, so as you can see, pitch renovations here at Plough Lane are underway. Uh, they started yesterday morning. So the first bit of kit that we used here was the Coro machine. So what the Coro does is it takes up all the grass, soil, organic matter, and this leaves us with the fibres. So the fibres are what give us the stability. So when the seed goes into the ground, the roots basically grow around the fibres, giving extra stability, which means less kick out and helps us give a better surface for the season. So what, what we have out there, we have a rake as well. So once they've done the first pass with the Coro machine, they will then go over with the rake helps fluff off any bits that haven't been taken up on the first pass, also helps stand the fibres back up um, and then they will go over it with the second pass just to fine, give a, a fine finish to the, to the surface. So next stage now will be the sand, so the sand will get applied, we've got 100 tonne of sand that will be applied this afternoon. Um, after that it will be the seed and pre-seed fertiliser tomorrow morning. Then after that there will be a vertical drain to finish off with and then after that it's a wait for the pitch to grow in. In the key months ahead, like last year, is, is weather. So last year we had 40 degree heat. You know, that made it pretty much impossible for us to, to do anything. Grow, growing the pit, growing grass in 40 degree heat is not easy. Um, and then after that, it was the weather going into the winter where we had you know, the wettest November in history. And then coming into the start of this year, the wettest February and March. Um, it just, every month is a different challenge. Every day in this job is a different challenge. Wimbledon's football season finished just a few weeks ago, but it's been all go here at the Foundation. Just last week, we opened our doors to the community for our first ever festival of football. We had 200 kids playing on the football pitch and 2,300 local people came and enjoyed the festivities. We raised £30,000 for our community work, which is absolutely incredible. We're halfway through our 1,000 more campaign. We're trying to reach, engage, and inspire 1,000 more local people every week in sport and social activity, and we need your support. AFC Women and Foundation is here for three reasons. We want to inspire active lifestyles in local children. We want to improve the lives of older people, and we champion sustainable sports participation for women and girls, and we really need your support. Check out our website below and get involved. There's so many fantastic events and activities coming up this summer and autumn for you to get involved in. So we are starting a new women's five-a-side league at Plough Lane. Um, we'll be starting mid-June to mid-July. So it'll be five weeks um, for women age 18 plus. The aim of the league is to hopefully provide opportunities for women out there to come along um, in a social environment, have fun and play football and hopefully make some new friends. Make sure you come down to Plough Lane to get involved if you are keen to play some football on a Wednesday evening. Naturally, the close season always begs the question what happens during that period. It's the busiest time of the year on and off the pitch. From my point of view, off the pitch, the summer represents the opportunity to reflect, to take stock and to make sure that we move forward as a club. This summer has been like no other at the Cherry Red Record Stadium. We are truly now realising the value of our asset here at the stadium and we've invited some global brands to the stadium over the last few weeks to use our facilities and also our pitch where we've welcomed hundreds if not thousands of people to play on the hallowed turf. We're busy preparing for next season. The 22nd of June with the fixture release can't come quick enough at which stage we'll be able to announce further details regarding ticket prices, ticket packages, hospitality and much more. The work continues right up until we kick that first ball in July in pre-season. I am here today in the Stadium Museum with another addition for our trophy cabinet. Um, it's our Division 1 South East runners-up plate for the 2022-23 season. So the aim is that we'll play at least eight games here this season and it's incredibly important for us and our growth in terms of our supporter base and getting people going to the games. Um, women's football is the biggest growing sport in the UK, both in terms of participants and also in terms of viewership. Um, and we're very delighted that the club, the men's team and the, the PLC and the Dons Trust are backing us to really push forward. Our match days are great. It's a really a fantastic day out for everyone. We have the foundation doing their family zone we have food vans and the after each game all of the players are great in, at engaging with the audience, signing autographs, taking photographs. Yeah, it's just a fantastic day and above all else, it's really good football. This past season they lost only one league game. They reached a fourth round proper of the FA Cup. They reached a final of the Capital Cup and 
yeah, 10 clean sheets, incredible, incredible defensive record and just a great bunch of people.